Hey gearheads, it's Jeff with Gear Report here at the Battle Wagon 3. I want to show you some of the recent updates we've made. All right, starting at the front, we have got a new set of LED headlights. We're LEDs all the way around now. We've got this fake, I call it not body armor, something like that. It's really thin and it wasn't too hard to cut. I had to trim a couple pieces here, but it covers up the holes where the Mac armor was before. Uh, let's see, in the back, I've got these. I haven't screwed them in yet. I think they're gonna go right about here with little fittings that go in them so that things can be strapped down the back because with the back wall here, we lose the normal tie down fittings, you know, like these. They're not here in the back like they normally would be. Hey, this these weren't here in a previous video. Thank you, Steve, for finding these for me, these uh, covers for the brakes. And then, ah, uh, the piece de resistance. There we go. That is a GPK, a gunner protection kit. Thank you, Todd, for supplying that. It's the type I wanted exactly, which is fake and made out of lightweight aluminum and as thin as it can be and still look kind of real-ish. So the, the idea was it'd be light and easy to take off so I could fit in the garage, but guess what? It fits in the garage anyway. It's kind of awesome. Here, we've got the display gun. That's a 249 and uh, don't look too closely or you'll notice it's just sitting on that cradle because I don't have the appropriate cradle to put up there for that uh, little airsoft gun that we use for parades and shows and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to look at here? Yeah, not really much new in here. Oh, that's where I put that speaker. Um, we do have the geared turret up here. What? Let me go to the other side and I will uh, get in and give a really quick, if the video keeps running, I'll give you a really quick look at how that works. There's the crank. Okay, so from up here, yeah, here we go. So we'll unlock it like this. Now, I can fold the handle out and we can turn it like that. Hey, good news is that uh, the neighbors are kind of used to this. They, they don't even flinch when they see me doing this anymore. Uh, now, if any, oh, see, here we go. Evidence that it's not the appropriate cradle because the gun's about to fall off. We're just gonna keep cranking though and go all the way around. Oh, too far. Let's go back to here. Another kind of fun fact. If we do this and pull and then put it down and lock, now, instead of cranking, see there's the crank. You can see I'm just turning it by hand now because that disengaged the uh, crank mechanism. All right, so now we're back on the crank and that's yeah, pretty much straight. So we'll go ahead and uh, lock it back in. Here we go, here's what the inside of the GPK looks like. I gotta clean this up and paint it. Uh, the hatch, really awesome. This is a Burtek weapon tray, the top right here, and um, hatch. So it's not actually made for a Humvee. I think it was like an MRAP or something, but it's really heavy duty and it seals up pretty nice and I am digging it. So anyhow, that's what's been happening with the Battle Wagon 3 here at Gear Report. We'll see you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.